Hello and welcome back to WorldPokerTour.com for coverage of the Party Poker WPT Vienna warm-up tournament. We have a winner, 65,000 euros for Mr. James Aikenhead. James, how does it feel to win this tournament after such a long period away from the game? Um, as I said to you before, like uh, earlier this week, um, I kind of uh, took out two years to open a business. I don't know if anyone knows that. Um, it was a restaurant in London. So uh, I kind of decided that when I hit 30 that it was time to do something more responsible with my life. And then, I <laughs> so I opened a bar, <laughs> which I wouldn't say was the most responsible thing ever. But um, okay, so look, I, I learned loads there, and um, and that time off kind of uh, made me nice and fresh, and uh, made me more hungry for the game when I decided, decided to um, quit that and come back to poker. So I started in December, um, and I just got result after result since then. Obviously, I'm running okay, for sure. Like as you see on the stream, I was hitting some nice hands. So. Um, I was a bit worried at one point, heads up, when I got down to about six million, but um, we managed to get there in the end. But yeah, it's really good to um, obviously come first in one because um, in uh, Dublin and um, London and in um, <clears throat> Prague, I came like very, very close. So it's good to come first. And there's a guy in today on the final, and he said to me, like, are you playing this for the money or are you, are you just playing this for points? Like, are you, do you even care about the money? And I said, what a stupid question. I said, I'm not going to buy him for a tournament unless I want to win it for sure. So the money means a lot to me for sure. Yeah. It was an amazing final today. Uh, did you feel any sort of extra pressure knowing you are the most experienced player left in this tournament and you know, with the sizable chip stack you had coming into today, there must have been some expectations? Yeah, expectations, I guess, uh, I don't know. I obviously expected myself to do well, but I never take things for granted. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, it doesn't matter who, you play, who you're playing against. Even though I would say that these guys played really well today, they did. There wasn't very, very many, um, you know, weird or strange moves <laughs> or Christmas presents. You know, obviously I, I had some nice, nice callers. It's nice, but um, but everyone played pretty well. And it was, you know, you have to be on your A game. You have to be focused to win for sure. Like um, so, um, and uh, yeah, it was a really fun tournament. Really fun final. You know, heads up, three and a half hours. Of <laughs> It's not, a, it's not ideal, you know, it's kind of like win or lose after half an hour, hit the bar. <laughs> but, uh, but it was actually quite interesting, heads up. And, um, yeah, it was interesting to see the final table play out the way it did because you guys were knocking out players left and right. You, for the most part, were doing uh, the busting out. And then all of a sudden, it came to a screeching halt and you guys battled for so long, heads up. Um, how tough was that mentally? Uh, it's, been, it's been a long tournament. So, and then after when I finished in the evenings, I was playing a bit of cash games. So my sleep is, I've literally slept, you know, maybe six to eight hours, which is fine. But then to play poker, for, you know, from, 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 from the start of day to the finish of day. So it's obviously very tiring. Um, and so when you get heads up at that stage, I was feeling a little bit tired, to be honest. Had a few coffees, a few Cokes. And I kept it going. I wasn't too drowsy, but you know, after two hours, you're like, <laughs> "Can we finish this now?" <laughs> and then uh, he suggested a deal at one point, and I was, and I was, uh, I never really do deals. I can't even remember the last time I did a deal, and uh, I was just like, "Okay, maybe I should do the deal." I offered something that was kind of in my favour, um, and in the end, he didn't accept. So we just carried on. You know, I'm glad we did that now. But. It was an interesting heads-up battle, and I do want to uh, make reference to it because your opponent, uh, Oliver, wasn't playing the conventional style. And he even pulled off a massive bluff on a four-flush board uh, where you ended up folding a flush, and he had, he had two hearts, I believe. Um, can, can you, could you believe that when you heard that he had a complete air? I, I can't believe he did that. Like, okay, so you can take a punt there for sure, but it is a bit of a punt. I'm not sure you're going to show a profit doing that in the long run because... I, I should just have it, right? Because if I don't have it, I've either got it or I don't have it. So, you know, like... You're risking a lot of chips to not win too many, you know, uh, it's a bit of a crazy bluff, but yeah, yeah I don't know. <laughs> you got respect at the same time, so yeah, well done, you know, it's a good bluff, for sure. Well, it made it very interesting for us, for the viewers on the stream with whole cards up to watch you play uh, in that heads up battle. Uh, James, congratulations once again, this is a beautiful victory. Uh, please, also, best of luck in the main event uh, that is starting tomorrow. You guys, stay tuned to worldpokertour.com for more coverage of the main event, and we have a live stream on Sunday with whole cards up once again.